What's good? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shack. This is the last day of 2020. This is the last day. This year has been some shit. It's been the hardest year probably in your lifetime. And uh, I ain't happy uh, that we gotta go one more damn day in this piece. I'm ready for this shit to end. Um, but we wanna go ahead and uh, just do a year in review real quick. Some of the good things and bad things that's happened to this year in regards to sports, entertainment, whatever else, whatever else the hell we can come up with and shit. Uh, this year started off good. Let's understand, man. January 2020 at the beginning, going in from 2019, we were COVID free. We didn't have no issues. And uh, I went to Europe. I went to Paris uh, with my wife, celebrate. Uh, and when we got to London and I got a phone call from one of my close friends letting me know about Kobe Bryant's demise, his passing, along with the seven other people who passed away, including his daughter Gianna. I was in London, England at the time. And that's when that shit started snowballing into some bullshit. Um, but from that, COVID just decimated the entire landscape. Uh, basketball itself, the NBA, uh, went in the morning as it should have, Kobe Bean Bryant. Uh, and it just stopped everything. Season stopped for about two months or so. NBA season stopped. We didn't know if we were going to have an NFL season. We didn't know if we was going to have a Major League Baseball season. And gradually, shit just started closing up, man. Movie theaters closing up. Malls closing up. It just got worse and worse. And uh, next thing you know, the NBA decided that they were going to try to start the season up again in a bubble, man. And we sat back and said, that shit is not going to work. How the hell are you going to be playing in a bubble, playing down there at Disney World, and you're going to be able to have a season? They figured that shit out. Um, whether or not some people think its season is an asterisk or not, it didn't matter. It happened. Lakers wound up winning their uh, 17th championship in the bubble. LeBron got his fourth ring. Then it was baseball. Baseball did a great job. Major League Baseball did a great job in regards to playing baseball uh, in a semi-bubble situation. Uh, and the Los Angeles Dodgers wound up winning the championship in regards to that. Uh, you want to put asterisks by there? That's your choice. I don't put asterisks next to nothing. I look at it this way. If there's no asterisk next to your damn paycheck, there ain't no asterisk, okay? So then we were concerned about football, whether or not we were gonna have an NFL season, and that shit was really concerning because the NFL owners refused to be in a bubble because they're not trying to give no money away, all right? They're like, I want the revenue from my stadium, the revenue from the television, and this, that, the third. And it's been a mixed bag at this point. Going into the last uh, week of the season, it's been a mixed bag in regards to how it's been handled. Way more COVID violations and situations and comfortabil comfortability and all of that type shit uh, has been permeating the NFL landscape this year. I'd say by, by far the NFL has done the least uh, effective job when it comes, when it came down to the COVID protocols and keeping players safe and trying to keep things happening. Um, but then again, it's a bigger league. Then we've had all the notable people that have passed away this year. It just goes on and on and on. It's just too many names to name. 
uh, icons in entertainment, icons in sports, icons in politics, icons, um, you know, in, in families, there's been icons that have left us, uh, not just because of COVID, but just other ailments and other situations that have transpired this year. We're going into 2021 with residue of 2020. We do need a new year to come up in here, but we still need to understand we're still dragging 2020 up in this piece. So let's do this as much as you can. Try to look at 2021 objectively like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to look at it more objectively than I probably should. Because if you look around, masks are still on everybody. We still got all these scary situations, but we'll persevere. We've persevered this long, we'll continue to persevere. I just wanted to come in, tell all of you guys, um, be safe, be careful out there. God bless everybody out there. Um, but we're gonna get through this, man, because we tough, we tougher than we know. Understand that. We tougher than we know, and we're gonna continue to be here. This isn't the end of humanity. This is just a change in humanity. All right, love all y'all out there, man. Please continue to share, subscribe, and like our videos. Salute.